When CD came out in the 1980s, it added a useful tool for the sound engineer. It's a test CD, which could deliver an accurate set of sound test signals and music tracks that could be played into any system anywhere. The Soundcheck CD was one of the best test CDs and was produced over 20 years ago by Alan Parsons and Steve Cord. Before the Alan Parsons project, Parsons was an engineer at Abbey Road, working on the Beatles' Abbey Road, Al Stewart's Year of the Cat and Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. At the same time, Steve Cord, a pioneer of those massive rock and roll PA systems of the 70s and 80s, was producing a PA system that was used by the Floyd. With similar ideas, the two got together to create a disc that could be used mainly for checking rock and roll and studio systems, but one which audiophiles also bought to check their hi-fi. The disc has a technical side, some ultra cleanly recorded solo instruments, and some great sound effects tracks. Today this CD is just as useful as ever, as a cheap and easy way of having test tones and test tracks always to hand. So how would you use these tests? The pink noise tracks are great to check if the speakers or speaker sacks sound roughly the same tonally. You can really notice the difference just by ear if the speaker's frequency responses are different. Then comes the third octave tones which would use a sound level meter to check the speaker's response. You can now get these for $50 or less, and they're easily accurate enough to check the overall performance of your speakers. The frequency sweeps show you how even the speaker's response is, and how low or high they go. Then there is this range of solo instrument recordings, created at a fantastically high technical standard to assess the naturalness of your system. But what makes Soundcheck a favourite test disc is the sound effects. The Gunfire and the Chieftain Tank track are especially impressive, especially when they're played on a massive PA system. But on your hi-fi, be careful with your volume levels if you don't want to blow your speakers. So if you've enjoyed this, give it a like and subscribe for more audio related posts along with film sound and a lot more about sound technology over the last hundred years.